Hey guys, Cardate here, and welcome to episode 38 of our Minecraft Adventures, and you might be thinking, hey, this isn't where you were when we left off. Your last video, you were like, at home somewhere, and the complete reasoning for that is YouTube. <laughs> I already uploaded episode 38 of me getting to here, I guess, and then, for some reason, YouTube changed the video so it was only like a second long. So I had to take it down, and now I'm doing episode 38 again, but I am not in the same place as I was before, which is always kind of frustrating, because now you're just sat there like, well, what happened? What did you do? Well, basically, all I did on my way here was walk around this cave, find absolutely nothing except for coal and iron, which I didn't pick up at all, because I already have a lot of that, and then I basically found the mob swatter. So now you're all caught up. <laughs> in like two sentences just yeah all I do is walk around here and find a mob spawner wasn't that crazy really so now that we're all caught up don't worry I'm not gonna forget about my minecraft people my minecraft people are still here they still want to watch my videos well if they do I hope they do hopefully they didn't forget about me completely but yeah I'm gonna keep doing these videos because I enjoy them they're fun I want to try and keep you people entertained and I don't want you guys to forget about me <laughs> basically because that would suck. So, now we're here. And, actually, what I wanted to talk about real quick was the, uh... There's, like, a thing going around where it's getting people into space. And it's, like, a bunch of YouTubers are in it. And I... Last I checked, there was three YouTubers in the top four spots. So, that clearly seems to help if you have, like, a whole YouTube channel behind you. And they're just voting for you constantly. So... I'm not, don't worry, I'm not going in this contest to go to space, but anyways, the people that are in it are, well, White Boy 7 Street is in first right now with I think like 20,000 votes or something, and then Chris Smoove is in second, and then after Chris Smoove it's some random person, and then I Justine is in fourth place. And if you don't know who any of those people are, if you want to know where, who White Boy is, search up White Boy 7 Street on YouTube. And with Chris Move, just search up Chris Move on YouTube. It'll be like the first channel thing. And then I Justine, just search up I Justine on YouTube. And there you go. That's that's pretty much it. But it's really cool how like there's so many opportunities going around for like people in YouTube these days. Because like they're going, they they have the chance to go to space, which is absolutely ridiculous. Because Space is crazy. Space is space. And then, like, earlier this week, there was Syndicate and his girlfriend Kate, and then T. Martin went with them. And they all went down to Vegas for the Dice Awards, which is, like, another kind of gaming awards thing. Kind of like the VGAs that I was talking about before, but not exactly. But, yeah, they all went down to Vegas, which would be really cool, but it kind of sucked for them, because I think Kate's 20, Tom's 19, and then... Uh, T. Martin is 20 as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure T. Martin is 20 as well. So, none of them really could drink, I guess, because you have to be 21 in the States to drink, but they probably still had a fun time anyways. I heard uh, that Syndicate and T. Martin went indoor skydiving, which is really cool. I would like to go indoor skydiving one day, but yeah, this is this is basically the cave that I've been exploring. Who fell down behind me? Oh my god. <laughs> Turn around, there's a creeper. He's like, don't worry, I'm just coming to kill you. Well, that lit the place up a little bit more. But anyways, we're going to keep exploring this cave. Hopefully find some diamond, which we're probably not going to do. Because this so far, this cave has had nothing but iron, coal, and gold. Which I don't really want at all. So I'm going to put some water here. Just because I don't want to fall into lava. Put down a torch. Do I have any other torches? Holy shit, how did my inventory get so... Okay... I'm going to need to throw some stuff away because this is this is too much. I don't want all this. Okay, here's some lava. Uh, mossy cobblestone, you can go away. Uh, wheat I'll take, cocoa beans, why not? You rotten flesh, go away. Uh, gravel, god, cobblestone, god, cobblestone, god, gunpowder. I'll keep in case I want to make TNT. I nearly threw that away. Flint, I don't need you anymore because I had flint and steel already. Redstone, lapis lazuli. Um, yeah. What else can I throw away? Not the wood. Not the sticks. Can't throw anything. Screw this. I'm throwing away some coal. I have too much at home already. 
I could just take it for the XP and then throw it away, I guess. Oh, wait. I want this so I can make more torches. Okay. So first, you go there. You. Torches. And I got 62. Good enough. So, let's go exploring this way. Because I don't think I've been this way since it's still dark over here. Unless I did, because I put down the, uh... I'll take this for the XP, and then throw it away. Or it'll just burn itself, that works. So, you three go in there, and... Yeah, but, like, it's amazing when you think about how many opportunities people get, like, coming straight from YouTube. Like, with White Boy and his new house, he, he got that house pretty much just off money he got from YouTube. And that's crazy when you think about it. Like, he said he went from food stamps, from living off food stamps, to having that nice big house. And definitely props to him. It's definitely taken, like, a lot of hard work on his part, and he's stayed dedicated, and it's paid off. So, just to all you guys, if you ever want to do something, like, you, you can't just start and then be like, oh, it's not working, give, I give up. Like, you can't give up after, like, a week or a month or something like that. You gotta... Did I even hit that guy? I don't think so. But you gotta stick with it. Like, with me, I've been doing YouTube for, I think, three months now. Three or four months. And, look at me. Still got 29 subscribers. I've had 25 subscribers for a while, actually. Like, uh, I it was like November or something. I think I started... Wait, when did I start? I think I started in October. October, November, December, January, February. Yeah, like four months. So... In, like, December, I had 25 subscribers, and then I was like, well, it's it doesn't seem to be growing anymore, but I guess I'll just keep going, and now I'm at 29 subscribers, so I'm happy. I got an extra four subscribers, but, no, wait, that's a lie. I was at 23 subscribers in December, and then after Christmas, I came here, and I put more videos up, and I got two more subscribers in, like, the early parts of January. And then another two subscribers, and then I got two so far this month. So, that's how I get to 29. I've gotten six subscribers in like the past two months, when in December I didn't get any. So, clearly it's it's all about putting in the work and taking time out of your day and just staying dedicated. So, if you stay dedicated, it'll, it'll come eventually. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not like the opportunity is going to be like, well, you had two months, you're, we're just going to leave you alone now. You can just... Go do whatever. No, if you if you if you stay dedicated and keep doing what you like, then something's gonna come from it eventually. Like e either it's like getting paid, or you find new people doing it, and you have new friends. And where am I going? Because I'm just walking in circles. But still, like if you do something, something's gonna come from it. It might like it. It's probably not gonna be a bad thing. Chances are, it's gonna be something worthwhile that you like want it to happen. But there's always the opportunity that, like, something bad could happen. <laughs> For example, the going to space. You could definitely die in space pretty easily. Because if you think about it, that's that's a lot of risk. There's a lot of risk in going up to space. And then with going to Vegas, there's pretty much risk anywhere when you're traveling. Because if you fly and someone crashes the plane, you're pretty much dead. So, that don't, don't let that discourage anyone from doing any, like any traveling or anything interesting like skydiving or like flying down a mountain on a parachute or something but just just have fun do something fun take the risk well if you if you don't want to take the risk then that's fine obviously because risk taking is it's good to an extent like when you think about oh i'm going to stab this needle in my arm and take drugs that's that's probably not the best risk you can do cuz that's that's not going to work out too well I mean, it might it might feel good for you when you're in like in the high moment and everything, but after a while, like if you keep doing it, and the cops find out, you're it's not gonna be as fun, honestly. Like that's that's just not where you want to go. You don't want to be, you don't want your fun to have like negative effects on yourself or people around you. So just keep that in mind whenever you're thinking like, oh, I should go throw eggs at this guy's house. No, try, like, I mean, even I've done that, like, on Halloween, and my friends are all like, oh, let's go do this, and I'm like, well, why not, so, but now I'm not really hanging out with that group of friends anymore, so, it's all changed, <laughs> really, it's, it changes, things happen, 
And then, as you go on, you realize that, like, why would I do that? That was just stupid. So, that's, that, I spent a long time talking about <laughs> traveling and opportunities and risk-taking. So, now I want to do just, just Minecraft. Let's, let's continue going on. Why do I have so much iron? I have shit tons of iron at home. I have nowhere to go in this cave and I don't know how to get out. Someone help. Please. Oh, wait, you can't help because the fuck. Because <laughs> the video where I got in here was only apparently a second log on YouTube. So I'm guessing it's up this way is the way out. I don't know why I wouldn't put any torches down, but I'll take it. Uh, skele- Oh, shit. That's a lot of- there's two skeletons and like four zo- Oh, there's a creeper too. Hello. He's just like, I'm gonna stare at this wall and nothing can happen. Oh god, he moved. This is scary. My sword's nearly broken. I'm not happy. Do I have another sword? No. This is great. This is just wonderful. There's two creepers down there. Yes, blow up. Blow yourself up. Ow! What the hell? Okay. Can I make a crafting table, please? I need to make another sword. Just so I can feel happy. Happy and safe. Because this is getting kind of kind of crazy. Okay. And that sword. I want a sword. Not a, not a pickaxe. A sword. There we go. Sword. Perfect. I got a sword. I should probably eat. Just because. But yeah. This is, this is going to be difficult. If I somehow manage to make it out of this without dying, I'll be... Look at that. It's like a freaking mob. Yes, blow up. Blow up and kill the rest of them with you. Blow up already. Yeah, there we go. I am such an evil genius. Look at that. Took out like all of them. Yeah, you want a ghost skeleton? I bet you, what the hell? So how can you shoot straight up in the air? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why don't you fight each other? Well, I'm fairly positive this wasn't the way I came. Because now this is going back down. And I am in darkness again. So, that someone's shooting at me. Why are you shooting at me? Come on. Can't we just be friends? I don't want to stab you with my sword. I just want to tap you on the shoulder and give you a hug. Whoa. Why do you keep doing this to me? Stop. No, seriously, stop. Okay. Now that he's done, what's down here? Looks like lava. This is where I just was. I was right down here. Then I, oh my goodness. I've done a big circle. But I could do some exploring, I guess, because it seems kind of, kind of open, kind of like it goes off on diverging pathways. So let's go this way, and hopefully not run into a dead end or a creeper, because that would be unfortunate. But what, like, where is this even going? Why does it wind around so much? Um, uh, is it going right back to where it was? Because I have a feeling it might do that. It sounds like lava. I go up here, and... Oh my... What? How does that even work? I went in over there, and it came out up there. I'm pretty sure I was going down, and... Uh, what? I don't even know. It's so confusing. Well, looks like I'm never getting out of this cave. I'm just gonna, like, die. And that's where I was as well. Back up here over this way, where I haven't explored yet. I'm going on an adventure! Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit. Okay, well, here's another dead end. But, anyways, guys, I'm going to end the episode here, and hopefully in next episode we'll be able to find our way out of this place, because this is getting kind of crazy, and my shirt is purple. So, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. Whoa, my eyes are purple, too. If you hit enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to share this with your friends, be sure to tell them about it or like share it on Facebook or something. That'd be wonderful. Anyways, I've been Carnate. Peace out.